I'm live here at Radium Springs. We're talking all about the butterfly garden. It's getting dedicated tomorrow, but it's a certified pollinator habitat for these monarch butterflies. Here to tell us all about what that means is Diane Sellers. So, again, what what does that mean? Well, it means that this is an official stopping place for the monarchs, and it just does something else to enhance the beauty of what is being done out here at Radium Springs by having it in this location. This area of southwest Georgia is an area that is part of the migration for the monarch. And as they go through this area, they're going to stop wherever they find the certain plants that they like to feed on. By having them grouped together here in this setting, it's just a, like a, a call to come and stop here and rest a while and eat, you know, before you move on. So being an official one uh, kind of gives it a special special designation. Sure. And tomorrow at the ceremony, that's what they're going to do. They're going to add this to all the different things they're doing out here at Radium to make it even more special for all the community. Wonderful. Now, why is it so important to have these monarch butterflies come here to southwest Georgia and take a little rest while they're migrating down south? To enhance the beauty of nature, to basically just open up a worldwide gateway for the people to come in and see how beautiful it is. So just, for me, it's just like when you walk out here, you just walk out into Heaven's Gate because everything is so beautiful, the flowers, and then when you bring the children out here mm -hmm. just to see their face and just to see nature and see a caterpillar and everything, and you have to tell them about where the caterpillar comes from and then how it comes, the beautiful butterfly. It's just awesome. Absolutely. And who doesn't love butterflies? Now, again, going back to some of the planning that you did, each of these plants is specifically for the butterflies, but people can have these in their own backyards there at home. Absolutely. What we've done here, the average homeowner can do as well. Uh, you can go to Monarchs Across America, mm -hmm. and they give you a specific list of plants to use to have your own Monarch butterfly garden. So, Very, very neat. And talk to me about the planting, because each plant, I'm sure, you didn't just throw in the ground. It, it had a specific reason for it to be there. That's right. I mentioned uh, in the first segment about how the milkweed is the host plant, mm -hmm. which provides the food for the uh, Monarch uh, caterpillars. Mm -hmm. um, that's the uh, necessary uh, plant in order to have a monarch butterfly garden and to uh, uh, have those caterpillars uh, attracted to this, this garden. So what's the next step? We've got the dedication coming up tomorrow, but you mentioned plans to expand it. Will you expand it here at Radium Springs or other places in Albany? Uh, the plans are for here, uh, actually in this uh, general vicinity right here as we have now, just to enlarge it. Wonderful. Well, come on down, Radium Springs. People can just stop by, walk anytime they want. We will, do, we, we will be start doing tours in November. We'll be doing first Saturday walks. They can come out on Saturday mornings, I think it's from 10 to 12, and do nature walks with children. We'll show them butterfly gardens here. Very exciting. All right, well, I'm live here at Radium Springs. Come on down, get some of those tours. It is definitely beautiful, and the butterflies will be out very soon. Back to you in the studio.